The 3DO system has been out for several months now, and the games have been a disappointment to say the least. Everyone's heard what the system can do, but there really hasn't been a game to prove it. Even though the games are graphically impressive, the poor controllers totally killed gameplay. Sadly, Super Wing Commander continues this unfortunate trend. And now for a word from our sponsors. As the sun in SSI's AD&D series slowly sets in the west, role-playing takes on a new twist with Al-Qadim. In this fresh Arabian setting, you play the role of a corsair, a rough-and-tumble warrior whose family is in prison because the family genie was caught destroying ships in a nearby area. The government believes your parents commanded the genie, but you know otherwise and set out to rescue them and uncover the truth. Be sure to check out our review of Al-Qadim in this episode of IE. Just when your workday starts to get terminal, here come Bernie and his dog Jock to treat you to Micro League Timeout Sports Baseball. Check out the demo in this episode of IE. And now, back to interactive entertainment. The first thing you'll see when you start the game is the incredible rendered opening animation. You'll be hard-pressed to find a better one on any platform. In fact, the whole game seems to revolve around the wonderful cinematics. Origin might have been better off just making a short rendered movie and skipping the actual game. Origin's trademark has long been the so-called interactive movie. After each mission, you can talk to another member of the crew, and depending on how well your last mission went, the progress of the war against the Korathi gets better or worse. Though this is usually pretty cool, Super Wing Commander is plagued by bad voices and overpainted portraits. In the original PC version, the portraits of the characters maintain the suspension of belief a hell of a lot better. The actual graphics in the game are only so-so. The ships are about on par with past versions, with the exception of ship close-ups. These are just a little better on the 3DO. In space, however, the graphics will make you scream. The planets are nice, but the abundant stars are corny. This inspires the feeling that you're flying in a cheap Hollywood set, not a far-off galaxy. The music, as in most Origin games, is good. It's taken right from the previous versions of Wing Commander with only a few revisions here and there. However, the sound effects could be a lot better. I mean, come on, this is a 32-bit system here. Let's hear some... and some... Not these puny little screeches. The only decent voice in this game is the female voice telling you what your menu choices are, i.e. enter simulator, talk to hunter, enter barracks, etc, etc. The voices and dialogue during the battle are downright stupid, with the Kilrathi barking out hokey taunts like I'm going to eat your entrails, and You fight like a stillborn kitten. A third grader could come up with better insults than that. A few things have changed in the conversion from PC to 3DO. You have fewer missions to fly, and you're promoted much quicker. One of the old standbys that hasn't changed is the bug that was in the original Wing Commander. All one has to do to negotiate an asteroid or minefield is to put on the old afterburners and voila, you've made it through. Now there are some cool things in Super Wing Commander that new and old players alike will appreciate. For instance, take the star map and autopilot options. With Origin's easy to use nav point system, traveling in the galaxy is a cinch, even for the wettest behind the ears rookie. Wing Commander veterans will find that nothing substantial has changed. From the bar scene to the pilot rankings, Super Wing Commander is virtually identical to the previous incarnations. I guess if something ain't broke, you shouldn't fix it. The absolute worst part of a game for me was the control. I can't really blame Origin for this one though. The control would probably be okay if it weren't for the hideous 3DO controller, which absolutely does not allow you to go in diagonal directions. I keep hearing a rumor that this can be improved by loosening the screws on the controller a bit, a trick I intend to try real soon now. Overall, Origin has done a decent job of porting this classic to the 3DO. All this game needs is a good joystick, some real dialogue, and maybe some real actors. This wasn't a bad start for Origin, but I hope they work out the kinks for their next 3DO title.